This orthosis is called a clam digger, and some common diagnoses that this could be fabricated for are P1 fracture without pins, MCP fracture, boxer's fracture, and a proximal phalanx shaft fracture. Start by either tracing the patient's hand onto a paper towel and then tracing it onto the thermoplastic or you can use a pre-made pattern for yourself. If you are tracing the patient's hand, you want to make sure that you are starting at three-fourths of the proximal forearm and including the ring and small finger in your pattern. Once you are done tracing your pattern, you can put your thermoplastic into the hot water so it can heat up. Ensure that your patient is in an intrinsic plus position or as close as you can to 70 to 90 degrees of MP flexion with the PIPs and DIPs in full extension, forearm in neutral, and the wrist slightly extended. The thermoplastic should cover the full length of the involved digits, both dorsally and volarly, and it should travel dorsally along the carpals. Volarly, you want to make sure that the long finger is free from movement, but also that the adjacent ring finger is well supported. This intrinsic plus position is a safe position for the patient post-surgery. It causes the extensor apneurosis to be tightened and drawn distally over the base of P1. It also helps to maintain the length of the MCP collateral ligaments. Once the thermoplastic is dry, you can use a pencil to mark where you want to make your adjustments. Remembering that the long finger needs to be cleared dorsally and volarly. Put back into the hot water to adjust the orthosis as needed. Next, you are going to attach the Velcro and soft straps to your orthosis. You should have four pieces of hook Velcro on your orthosis, and they should be long enough to go completely around the orthosis. One piece of Velcro should be at the proximal forearm, one just proximal to the wrist, one along the hypothenar eminence, and the last one on the ulnar side of the small finger. Use the heat gun to secure the hook Velcro. Strap your patient into the orthosis to make sure it fits correctly using the soft straps. As you can see, one of my straps goes through the patient's web space and this strap you can make more thin so the edges of the strap don't irritate the patient when he or she is moving the thumb. The last strap should secure the ring finger and the small finger. You could use two straps here if needed. When finished, ensure that the patient can freely move the thumb, index finger, and long finger. 
there are no areas bothering the patient, your edges are all smooth, and that the proximal part of the orthosis is flared out to ensure comfort.